Hi everyone! This video is a compilation of my Aria Blaze, Adagio Dazzle, and Sonata Dust Pony Customs. This is a faster version of the individual videos. If you want to watch the slower version, you can click on the eye icon at the top right corner at any time during this video. Alright, the first dazzling set I'm gonna make is Adagio. To make her forelock, cut out a rectangular piece of clay and press it onto her head. Lightly mark the center point. Now trim it into a V shape. Smooth out any rough edges. Cut out another rectangular piece of clay, press it onto the back of her head. Now trim the end to the desired shape. Smooth out any rough or uneven edges. For her necklace, roll out a thin log of clay and wrap it around her neck. Use the leftover clay to make the bail, the part that connects the gem pendant to the cord. To make her bangs, cut out two rectangular sheets of clay, then trim off pieces of clay to create the shape of her bangs. Once it's in the shape that you want, smooth out the uneven edges. Now do the same for the other side. When they're finished, attach them to her head. Let's move on to her crest. Since her crest is really big and poofy, I'm gonna use aluminum foil for the core. This way I'll use less clay and it'll weigh less. Wrap sheets of clay around the core until you get the crest to the size and shape you want. Alright, let's see what it looks like on the pony. Once it's in the shape you want, use a similar tool to create the puffs of hair all around. Now attach a thin strip of clay here for her hairband. To make the spikes, roll out a log of clay. Cut it into smaller pieces. Taper one end by rolling it with your finger. Trim off any excess. Then make four more. For her tail, I used the same method as the crest. I started with an aluminum core and wrapped clay around it until I got the shape I wanted. Then I used this tool to create these puffs of hair. All the sculpting is now finished. Before you can start painting, the clay pieces must be baked or air dried depending on the type of clay you'll be using. Let's start painting! I did the same for the other side. Before I paint her coats, I'm gonna glue on her tail. This way the tail is glued to the pony and not the paint.
let's move on to the eyes. I pin it on our cutie mark. I've painted the spikes light yellow and glued them onto the hairband. Now the crest is ready to be glued on. I've used red clay to make her gem pendant. If you want to give your gem that shiny appearance, brush on a layer of gloss sealant. Alright, this custom adagio dazzle is now finished. Next up is Aria. To make her forelock, cut out a rectangular piece of clay and press it onto her head. Lightly mark the center point. Now trim it into a V-shape. Cut out another rectangular piece of clay, press it onto the back of her head. Trim off any excess clay. Smooth out the rough edges until it becomes seamless. Now trim the end to the desired shape. For her bangs, cut out these shapes, then attach them to her forelock. This is the left ponytail of Arya's mane. Let's make the right side. Start with a long sheet of clay. Fold the top part to make it thicker than the rest. Smooth out the rough edge until it becomes seamless. Now trim the sides. This is the part that will attach to the mane. Make sure that both ponytails are the same length and trim off any excess. Now cut out pieces of clay to create the gaps. Let's move on to our tail. Cut out a thick rectangular sheet of clay. Mine is about a quarter inch thick. Trim off pieces of clay to create the shape of our tail. Taper the end of her tail by rolling it with a similar tool. Decide how long you want her tail to be and trim off any excess clay. Smooth out the uneven edges. Now she's ready to be painted. Moving on to the eyes. I've painted on her cutie mark.
This is the star that goes on top of Arya's mane. To make these, cut out star-shaped pieces of clay and then paint on the gray lines. This custom Arya blaze is now finished. And finally, I'm gonna make Sonata. For her forelock, roll out a sheet of clay about 2mm thick, straighten the sides by trimming them with a blade. Decide how long you want her forelock to be. Now trim off the excess clay. Mark the center point of the side. Then use your blade to cut out a V-shape. Press the sheet onto her head and pinch the sides together. Cut off the excess clay with a knife. If there's a gap, then blend the clay together with your finger. Once that is done, press a small sheet of clay onto the back of her head. Trim the end to your liking. For the sides of her forelock, decide how long you want them to be. Cut two sheets of clay to that length. Lightly sketch on the shape with a tool. Now cut the shape out with a knife. Smooth out any rough or uneven edges. Attach them to the sides of her head and blend until it becomes seamless. Use your knife and tool to create the gaps and texture for her mane. To make her ponytail, start with a log of clay. Taper the ends and sculpt it into a S shape. Decide how long you want it to be. If it's too long, then trim it to the length you want and reshape. With a small piece of clay, make a tuft of hair by tapering one end. Flatten it a bit and blend it on the ponytail. Make another tuft of hair and blend it on the other side. Now create the hairband by wrapping a thin sheet of clay around the top end. So this is what it looks like so far. Let's move on to her tail. Start with a log of clay, taper one end and flatten the rest. Decide how long you want the tail to be and trim off any excess. Now taper this end and shape it to your liking. Make a tuft of hair and blend it onto her tail. All the sculpting is now finished. Let's start painting. I'm going to paint her tail before gluing it on. You can do whichever is easier for you first. I've painted on one more streak on this side and two more on the other side. If you've watched my other custom videos, then you should know that I don't film the painting of the cutie mark because it's too difficult to do with the camera in front of me. All I did was paint on the heart shape with a magenta color. 
Next, I painted on the musical note with the same blue color that I used for her mane. And then I painted on the shadows with the same blue color that I used for her streaks. Alright, this custom sonata is now finished. You can watch more of my custom My Little Pony videos by clicking on the pictures that are on the screen or visiting my channel. And as always, thanks for watching!